G'day guys, Mick here. So, I'm doing a five minute yarn for you. I'm doing it a little bit differently because, well, I'm at home. Um, I've had a number of people, especially recently, ask me about the Pajero. Is it a good four wheel drive? Does it do what you need it to do? Is it comfortable? How does it drive? What's the fuel economy like? Oh, shit like that. All right. Something obviously everybody wants to know with their 4B. Well, my Pajero, with all my additional weight in it, my fridge, dual battery, roof rack, solar, friggin' bull bar, all that crap, I get sort of around about 15 litres per 100. Now keep in mind, I'm a 3.5 litre V6 petrol. I'm not a diesel vehicle. 3.5 litre V6 petrol. The 3.5 litres actually have more kilowatts of power and more torque than the diesel variant. Uh, in my year model, I don't know about previous year models, but I get sort of 15 litres per 100 as it sits now, and that's another 400 kilos stuff added into it from what it was stock. So overall, it's not too bad for what it is. Two ton vehicle, or two and a half ton vehicle now. Um, there's a lot of land cruisers and patrols and that around, even in diesel variants, that stock don't even get that. You know, without adding fridges and batteries and roof racks and everything else to the damn things. Um, comfort wise, I test drove, and I've said this in a previous video, I test drove a Prado before buying the Pajero. And comfort wise, the Pajero shits all over the Prado. I've driven my mechanics Prado, which I believe is a newer vehicle. I think it's about a 2011. And, you know, comfort again. In the Pajero, shits all over it. How does it handle off-road? Well, you know what? I keep up with anyone else. They, you know, throw a locker in your car and yeah, I'm not going to keep up. But anybody else that's got similar vehicle to me, I'm going to keep up with you. You know, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Pajero. They're a great car. And when you look at everything at the moment, yeah, prices are going up because of the COVID tax. But plain and simple, straight off, one, you're not paying a Toyota tax. You know, bloody Land Cruiser cost you 10 grand. Pajero, like mine, will cost you five or six. Um, you know, and that's like an 80 series Land Cruiser that's 10 years older. So, um, actually, I've seen 80 series recently, 92, 93 model friggin' Land Cruisers going for up to about 30 grand. I think 28's. 28,000 is the most expensive I've seen. I'm like, are, you, are you kidding? It's a 30 odd year old car. Are you kidding for $30,000? Go and buy a Pajero. You know, you very easily find one for under 10 grand. Um, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. Gen 3 is petrol, even in diesel. You know, you pick them up for less than nine. So, yeah, when I sort of being asked this is whether the Pajero is capable or not. Well, it's just as capable as anything else. The Prado, when when the Prado was introduced, it was actually a land, standard Land Cruiser, and they named it Prado. I can't remember the exact reason why, but they named it a Prado. Then with the next model Prado, they decided that they needed a vehicle to keep up with the highly popular Pajero. So the Prado was designed and based on the Pajero designs. It was designed to keep up with or to compete with the Pajero. Now, some people say, oh, yeah, but Prado shits all over a Pajero. They're effectively the same vehicle. Yeah, some of the newer ones, I don't know if the newer ones are still live, at, live rear axle, whereas the Gen 3 and 4 Pajeros have gone to independent. Um, but, you know, they're basically the same bloody car, and you're not paying the Toyota tax on it. I've got nothing against Land Cruisers, I've got nothing against Patrols. Well, I suppose I do have something against Land Cruisers, I just think they're overpriced. Um, in my opinion, they're nothing more than an overpriced penis extension. And, sorry if you own a Land Cruiser, but that's what a lot of the, the way a lot of people act with them, especially with the Prados, they're a penis extension. Um, and I probably cop some hate for this, but so be it. Um... You know, call me a wanker all you want because I drive a Pajero. But, yeah, who cares? Um, you know, P 
Patrols, I think they're a good car. But again, I still think they're overpriced for their age. Um, but then there's a lot of other cheaper four-wheel drives out there too. You know, you could pick up an old model Ranger or an older model uh, BT50 or uh, four-wheel drive Courier or Triton or um, even the Holden Colorados and yeah, or Jackaroos and things like that, you know. Um, your little Suzuki Buddy Jimneys and Suzuki Vitaras and um, friggin' Daihatsu whatever they're bloody called. Um, you know, there's a lots of other four-wheel drives out there that are just as capable. You don't need to... Don't look blindly just at your Land Cruisers and Patrols or your Rangers because, well, that's what people use. Um, you know, there's so many other vehicles out there that are just as good, if not better, in my opinion. And, yeah, so... I guess at the end of the day, this started off as a five minute yarn, I'm now at six minutes. People keep asking me, is a Pajero a good car? Is it good off-road? Is it good on fuel and all that sort of thing? For a two and a half ton vehicle, yeah, it's not bad on, vi on fuel. For a petrol two and a half ton vehicle, it's not bad on fuel. Um, keep it maintained, keep your O2 sensors check in check and things like that. And yeah, you'll still get decent economy out of them. Um, is a Pajero decent off-road? Yes, it bloody is. It goes just as well as anything else. Um, again, there's no lockers, there's no friggin' traction control in mine or any of that sort of shit. You, you go putting it against the car without lockers and without traction control, standard LSD, that's fine. Because um, that's what the patch has. And it will keep up with anything. Two inch left and you go anywhere. They're great. Um, would I recommend a Pajero to someone else? value for money at their even at their current price points with the friggin COVID tax there's still a hell of a lot better value in my opinion than most other four-wheel drives or many other four-wheel drives especially the Land Cruiser and Prorado and Patrol uh, variants uh, alright five minute yarn gone to seven and a half so I'm going to call it there alright peace guys take care and I'll see you on the tracks